are here at the Truth Face store ready to celebrate our second year anniversary. Um, we brought in Ken Jones from Yaffa Brands and he's going to talk about some of the things that he brought in to share with us. So um, Ken, why don't you kind of give a quick overview of Yaffa as a whole, what sure. they distribute? Sure. We own two brands, Conklin and Monteverdi. We have private reserve. Um, and we also do, uh, we distribute Paniter to Baldi, Schmidt for refills, um, Diplomat, Stipula, Mayora, Natuno, and I think that's it. <laughs> I think that covers it, sorry. Yes, I think that covers it. So we have a wide selection of, you know, product, you know, from lower end range all the way to the high, super high end range. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, um, can you give kind of a little overview of each brand, which ones, you know, you've got maybe more of, or what you do with each brand? Sure, sure. Uh, you know, Monteverdi and Conklin, we, we, are the, we own those brands, we manufacture them, we ship them to 40 countries throughout the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we're selling in 40 countries, and um, it's a good price point brand, usually $200 retail or less. Um, and, you know, Monteverdi is more, uh, fashion forward, fun pens, where Conklin is more historic. So we try to keep the history of Conklin going and we, we produce models that were made in the 30s, 20s, 40s. So we redo those with a little different twist on them. That's awesome. Yeah, so very good stuff. Uh, Yogo nibs, of course, made in Germany and you know, just good quality product for a good price. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Um, so, which brands did you say that you guys manufacture? We manufacture Conklin Monteverdi. Conklin, okay. Yes. And so, um, tell me what the story of that, the lifetime of that looks like from an idea to getting that pen, you know, produced, marketing, and then into the customer's hands. Sure. You know, it, it's it's a collaborative effort at the, at the company. You know, we sit down in a closed door room. Uh, we. We have ideas that we pitch, you know, to, to, you know, mostly it's Yair, myself, and Kat that are there. And then we have ideas that we start from and then we, we kind of progress along, you know, in different stages. But one thing about Yaffa, you know, we've been in business 40, 43 years uh, and it's owned by the same owner, uh, single owner, Yair Greenberg. He's the CEO and founder and he founded Monteverdi uh, back in 1999. And you know, I, at the time I was working in uh, in retail pens. I was working in a, another pen retailer in Maryland, and Yair would always come to us and show us ideas. And like he said, I'm going to make this new pen company. And of course, we said, you know, we're going to support you all the way. We're going to sell it. But I remember when we turned and left the booth at the stationery show, we the owner and myself looked at us and said, "Is he out of his mind? <laughs> starting a pen company?" So it, you know, it, it's progressed. It's become a serious brand in the industry, and it's uh, it's it's really amazing what he's done. But as far as like designing new products, we we start with a basic idea of something, a theme, and then we shoot ideas off each other. What will this look like? What will the trim look like? And and one thing about us, we can design a pen. We can design ten pens in one day at Yaffa. Whereas other companies take months, sometimes years to develop one product. It's just, we're a little different. We're on the fly. We can do what we want. Our factories can do what we want. So it's really, a, it's a great process. It's fun also to design pens. You know, most of the pens designed here, you know, we, we designed in-house, you know. Yeah. Just sitting there going, you know, with renderings and we keep checking things, materials, all that stuff. So it's really it's fun. Very collaborative. Yeah. It absolutely, like. absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So um, sounds like when you first started, um, you know, you kind of thought that's a crazy idea to start a pen company. It's so sure. so explain to me how you got into fountain pens in the first place. Okay. Like, those stories are always interesting. Yes, me personally, it's a it's a it's a, it's a funny story really. I I was um, this is 1993 I started. I started in pens in 1993. I um. I was working as a pharmacy manager at a grocery store in the Washington, D.C. area. My wife was a pharmacist, and we had weird hours. I had a 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. shift, and she had a 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. shift. So we never really saw each other that much, and I wanted to get her something nice for Christmas that mm -hmm. year. So, you know, back then, I, I needed extra money. So I, what I did was I went to the mall, and I walked around the mall to find a part-time evening job. She's working, so why not? So I stumbled into a pen shop in the mall. So I 
took the job three days a week, and I think it was the second day I was there, I sold a $4,000 Moblanc pen. And the owner called me the next day and says, how did you sell that pen? Because we, it's been there two years, and I said, I have no idea, I just, this happened, you know? So from that time forward, I was kind of hooked into pens, and about a year later, that guy hired me full-time to take over his pen part, and that's, this was 1995. And uh, I quit this great union job, and everyone thought I was crazy, and I quit the job, <laughs> and started pens, and I've been in pens ever since. Wow. Yeah, so, and happy I did. Best yeah. thing I ever did, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's always crazy how just one action, yeah. one choice took you One down crazy this. thing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You just wanted some extra cash. And That's all I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it, I wouldn't have sold anything. <laughs> pens happened to be it. You yeah. just kind of had a gift for it then. Yeah. And then I found a love for it too. Yeah. You gotta love what you do. It definitely sucks sure. you in. Yes. Once you start getting them down that rabbit Absolutely. hole. Oh yeah. So, yes. so what connected you with um, Yafa and how did that relationship start? Well, it started, it, it, it's weird. It, I was in pen retail for 10 years. So I worked in, like in a shop like Truffet uh, for 10 years. And I got, I got a opportunity with the brand Visconti. Mm -hmm. So Dante Del Vecchio and I had been friends before I started working for Visconti. So I, I actually worked for Visconti before Yafa. So okay. one day he called me from Italy and says, look, we're looking for a national sales manager for Visconti. And would you be interested? And I said, sure. So I had to go to an interview process and I, I got the job. So I left Bert, and you know, Bert's one of my best friends in the world still today, and we're still friends. And um, so I went to work for Visconti, which I worked for about five years, four, four or five years. And then the distrib distribution changed there. So that gave me the opportunity to do, go farther. I've always known Yafa, I've always known Yair. We are friends. and. We just got together, everything clicked great, and you know, it's, I've been with you for 11 years now, so wow. it's, been a, it's been a great ride, and I just keep going, keep riding the, keep riding the train, awesome. yeah. <laughs> we keep riding the train, and it's, it, it, it's a, every day it's fun at Yafa. I mean, yeah. we, every day it's something, we speak every, you know, five times a day, we're thinking new ideas for next year. Yafa's, you know, new pen products, we're, we're already finished for next year, we're talking 23 now. Oh, wow. So yeah, we're way ahead of this curve. Yeah, always evolving so, quickly. Too. Yeah, so that's how I actually got into got with Yafa. Uh huh. Just kind of a fate, really. It was fate. Yeah. Yeah. So. So where is Yafa based out of? Yafa's based in Los Angeles, uh, in Woodland Hills, California. It's a suburb of Los Angeles. It is uh, in the valley. So okay. About twenty five minutes, thirty minutes from the airport without traffic on the 405, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. so uh, they've been there in the same spot since 78, 1978. Okay, awesome. And how many uh, employees do they have? We, uh, right now we're about 45 employees. Okay. Yeah, right now. We, pre-pandemic we were around 60, but the, some people retired. Yeah. You know, they were about to retire anyway. Mm -hmm. So, but around 45 right now. It, okay. changed, it fluctuates a little. Are they all based out of that area? Anymore? All based out of that area except for one person that's in Minneapolis. Okay. Everybody else is based there. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So tell me what a day in the life looks like. Day in the life of Yaffa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At well, least from your point of view. From my like point of view. everybody's got, you know, something different. Everybody has their thing to do. You know, I'm the vice president of sales for Yaffa. So I'm, I'm running sales all the time. So. For me, you know, my day starts at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's still 5 a.m. there. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 I'm three hours ahead of them, so a lot of things happen before they even wake up. So I'm, you you're know, in DC. I'm in Washington, Washington D.C. area, yeah. Okay. So I live in D.C. And so day in life is, you know, answering emails, Zoom calls. I do Zoom or FaceTime 20 days a week with customers. I'm on the phone constantly with customers, answering, answering emails developing special projects with customers like Truffet, who we've done many with, um, and we have some nice new things coming. So um, this is you know an everyday thing. Then I have shows like this during the week. Uh, I, I used to visit customers a lot more. Uh, pandemic has slowed that down, but I'm back to traveling a little and going to you know key accounts and where I have to go. And you know the good thing about most people have learned how to adapt to the pandemic and the travel mm -hmm. restrictions, and we're still doing a great business with everybody. So it's, we've kind of worked around those things and made it happen. But, you know, a day in a life is a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, a lot of texts, a lot of Zoom, a lot of FaceTime. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's one after another. Just so constant communication. constant communication all the time. Yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. And then in that time, and 
you know, we develop things because I'm not there. So when I'm there at Yafo, you know, I'm there four days. There's four days of meetings and getting things done. But at, when I'm not there, we're constantly on the phone. And what happens is most of that takes place in my 7, 8 p.m. time mm -hmm. because it's at the end of the day for Yafa. So I'm working till 8 p.m. at least, you know, at night yeah. because there's just going over new things and, you know, finalize, their final, finalizing things and everything. That, that usually happens in the evening. But no big deal. Yeah. yeah. No big deal. That's what it is. Sounds like you love what you do. Is there something that is like your favorite part about your day? I mean, about my day. I mean, really, honestly, just doing, job. just doing my job. I just love, love my job. I do. You know, I love doing it. And, uh, you know, that's, it's a third of your life is your job. And if you can love that, it's, it's great. You know, it's, but I love my job. I love pens. I'm passionate about pens. And, yeah. And, it, it, you know, we, we just love what we do, and we love what we do at Yafa too. You know, it's it's amazing, really. Yeah. 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 Do you have any crazy pen stories? Anything? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was what thinking about this story. You know, it's funny. Uh, I I wasn't at Yafa, but I was in the pen business, and um, I was working for uh, my a place in Maryland, and um, we go to the Nationals game, Washington Nationals games. At the time, I had season tickets, so I was. Um, we were at a game, and it was me, the owner, and an employee. And the employee was wearing his Chrome pen, Chrome company, his expensive pen, beautiful pen in his pocket. And the game was like out of hand, and the employee left, lived in D.C. He goes, I'm going to go home now. And, you know, back then there was really no way to get to the stadium. You had to take the subway or, like, it was in a bad part of town. So you had to, like, it was hard to get to places. You know, there's 50,000 people there. Yeah. So he left about an hour before we did or more. And he was walk, you know, walking to the subway. So the game's over, me and my friend are leaving, we're walking, and there's just thousands of people walking into the subway. And I see this pen getting kicked around on the floor. So I was like, look at that. So I pick up the pen, and it's his pen. Oh my God. So I was fell like, out of shirt? <laughs> fell out of his shirt. It was kicked around for an hour, a $700 pen, and I picked it up, and I looked at the, the guy, I looked at Bert, and he's, I go, this is Henry's pen. And it had to have been out there for an hour. So nobody knew what it was. They were kicking it around. So I call Henry on the cell. And I said, Henry, where's your pen? And he goes, in my pocket. You know, he goes, oh, my. I said, I have your pen. <laughs> so we talk about this story all the time now that we see when we all together. And, like, remember the time when you lost your pen an hour? I mean, 20,000 people had to walk across that pen oh and not pick it up and keep it. Not a Just single one of them. The knew. pen gods <laughs> intervened that day, you know. Not That's a, crazy. Yeah, That's so, crazy. You guys happened to take that same path too and saw it. In a giant sidewalk, it had to be twenty feet wide of yeah. thousands of people. I kept seeing this thing getting kicked around. I look, it's a pen. I look at it, it's a it's Henry's pen. I know it is. You just have an eye for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he, and he still has that pen today. He, we still talk about it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He still has that pen. I today. bet he doesn't put it in his shirt pocket. No, nope. no, it's in like this, you know, in his leg. Yeah. Not in the Definitely pocket. Clipped. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's the crazy story I have. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. great that you guys were able to yes, find it. Absolutely. Get it back to absolutely. Him. <laughs> yes. So, um, share with us some of the things that you guys that you were able to bring on this trip, and some of the upcoming things sure. that some of the brands have. Sure. I, you know, there's a lot of we, at Yaffa. We have we always have new things coming. Yeah, we're known for new things all the time. I don't have anything great here to show, like right up front, but I can tell you in the near future, talking about next month, we're going to have an all American pen in rainbow, all rainbow trim, rainbow nib. That's going to be 115 retail. That's coming in a couple weeks. We're going to have um, a mother of pearl regatta, which is all mother of pearl, uh, with two trims, rose gold and black, uh, gunmetal trim. And that's going to come in regular mother of pearl and black mother of pearl, which is really amazing. And, and you never see pens with black mother of pearl. And the pens, I showed yesterday uh, images to Chris, and he's like, whoa, this is unbelievable. It's really a nice pen. It's 1999 piece limited edition, and we're really almost sold out of it. I mean, oh, pre-sold wow. out of all the modes and everything. So we're, it's really had a great reaction. So that's it in really Monteverde and Conklin. Um, there'll be a lot of new things starting in January, but these are still in finish, finishing the process. Mm -hmm. You know, so not not for public knowledge quite yet because mm -hmm. it's not. They're like 90 percent done, yeah. and sometimes we scrap something at the end and. Wait a year, you know, mm -hmm. or something. so I don't want to say it's coming out that it doesn't. Yeah. So, um, Paniter, you know, it's a brand that we love. It, it's it's like 
it's a long story what happened with Dante and Viscani, but we won't get into it. But you know, he is now with Peniter. So the founder of Viscani has now uh, works for Peniter, is a consultant for Peniter, and you know, it was just a natural thing that we got the distributorship because I, I work for Dante. I've known Dante 20 years, and it was just, it was like you know, unbelievable that we got back together. I always hated that you know leaving Viscani. I left Dante, who was to me the greatest you know designer of pens in the world today. And, you know, so we, we're having fun again. I'm having fun again with Dante. And, you know, I, I brought all these new things that he has. Um, I can show just like, just little changes like the, you know, this is the uh, demo, the demo pen that they've had, Avatar. And now they have black trim. So black nib, black fixtures. Um, this is, you know, this is made with this special UR material, which is unbreakable. I don't want to scare you. It's not breaking ever on this pen. It will not break. It it's won't just scratch. Magnetic. This is a magnetic cap, but the material is unbreakable, so you, it can't break. We have videos like you know, rolling over with the truck. Wow. This will not break. Yeah, it's unbreakable. So this is cool. It's never been done before. This is the good thing about Panaya. It's innovative things that people have not done. Yeah. So that's something that would last those people kicking it in the subway. Though. No doubt about <laughs> it. That's not breaking for sure. <laughs> yes. Um, there's two new additions to that. I'll just show. Is a black mat. Avatar that's out now. We're, we're nice. coming next week. We'll have some more and a glossy black one also black trim, but very cool pen unbreakable also um, All the avatars are we call it you are ultra resin, which is unbreakable, unbreakable okay. resin. Yeah, so that's pretty cool something that no company has done or honestly they could do honestly yeah. Even we could do it Monterey Yeah, it's, it's amazing really amazing what he's developed there um, another collection is the alchemist which has been out for a little while in blue, but uh, it's now going to be coming out in black with rose gold trim and also like a military green with black trim. Now the cool thing about these pens are they're made with zeolite. Zeolite is like when lava hits water. Okay. That's what zeolite forms. So, uh -huh. you know, this is a very cool pen with, with another, you know, very cool material. Um, you know, beautiful, this is a rollerball, sorry, but beautiful nib. You know, he always has the solid gold quill nib, which is great, piston filler. And this will be available October 15th. Um, but, you know, available to see today at the show, yeah. for sure. So, and then, of course, crazy pens. <laughs> we love this pen. The Psycho. Psycho. So the Psycho pen is out now in three finishes, rose gold, yellow gold, and sterling silver. So the sterling silver is plated in palladium. These are all sterling silver, by the way, but this is plated palladium. We have yellow gold and rose gold, so it won't tarnish. Um, it's basically wires intertwine. It's see-through. You can see through it. It's hard to see in the camera, I'm sure, but you can see it. You know, it's yep. see-through. Um, it's like five layers of wire. Amazing, you know, amazing what he did with this. You know, lost wax process, but yeah. amazing. And that comes in a beautiful, I'll just show it, a beautiful leather box made of Florence. And it's uh, you get the you get the pen filler, the snorkel, two bottles of ink, and of course Peniter stationery. All comes in this beautiful so. box that's made, that's made in Florence, and that's available now in stock here at uh, Truffe. And that's the, that's the craziest pen I've ever seen him. He, <laughs> you know, one thing about Dante, I'll say he all he he did an interview with Forbes magazine, and I still remember the question that the lady asked him. Um, what is your best pen? What's the mm -hmm. best pen you ever did? And he said, the next one. So he oh, always says, the next one is one. the best one. And this is the, <laughs> the next one was the best one, for sure. <laughs> and he has, he says he has something coming that's going to beat this, There's but let's always see. Something. Always something coming. So, <laughs> so we have a lot of fun with Panida. So that's basically new things coming in the next couple months. Yeah. yeah. What are you most excited about personally? For pens or mm -hmm. for, it pens, you know, just, I'm always excited about new things. I love new things. You know, the world is a weird place. Like in the U.S., the customers like always, what's new, what's new, what's new? Mm -hmm. When you go overseas into Europe, it's like the standard pen they're making for 10 years and they're always making it. So it's not as new. So like I'm, 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 I want new things. Yeah. I'm always pushing all my, all my accounts, you know, all my uh -huh. vendors, you know. I push Benighter, I push Tabaldi, I push Diplomat. And it's, it's good for both of us. You know, I, I push them to come up with things. They give them ideas, and, and they're all receptive to ideas. You know, all these companies that, that I, you know, represent are always, you know, 
they're looking for ideas. Yeah, give me, tell me what you want, you know. Yeah. So and, and it's it's great. So I love working with them. You know? That's a good relationship. Yeah. It really, it's it's just proactive. You know, yeah. it, is, it really is. You know. So yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys have gotten all of next year's lineup kind of ready. Pretty Is much, there? yeah, pretty much done. We're working on 23 now. We have a big anniversary in 23 for Conklin. It's the 125th anniversary of Conklin. Uh -huh. And we're gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. A celebration? We're thing? gonna have a celebration with, with pen ranges from $2,000 to $100. And just have all oh these, these yeah. it's gonna be a really crazy year. We'll start releasing those probably like a year from now. Mm -hmm. And it, it'll go through 2023. But all those pens are already in the process. Yeah. Yep, already in the process. So it's going to be amazing. That's yeah, awesome. Going to be amazing. Yep. Lots of great things to be looking Absolutely. forward to. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Joining us and going over all of this Absolutely. with us. Um, Thank you. And if you missed our event, don't worry. We've got all of this online, on, or you can Instagram DM us. Um, can absolutely help you guys find the right pen for you. Absolutely. Thank you.